Hi, I'm here today to introduce to you and bring you up a very important issue in the mobile phone world, specifically the Android smartphone world. Um, I, before I do bring up this issue, I'm going to go ahead and introduce myself. Uh, my name is Tim Schofield. Um, I'm a member of the Android Creative Syndicate team, AC Syndicate team, as you can see our emblems right there. I'll post a link in the description of this video in case you're interested in more of our work and our website as well. I'm also known as King 77 You might know me as King 77 over at various Android forums. But anyways, the topic of discussion today and the issue is Carrier IQ. Uh, Carrier IQ is something you may or may not have heard about. Um, and everyone, and if you haven't heard about it, uh, you might be asking yourself, what is Carrier IQ? Uh, Carrier IQ, also known as CIQ, um, it's something that's installed not only on cell phones, but also tablets and readers as well. Uh, CIQ is basically a piece of low-level software that's installed by, that we know of right now, Samsung and HTC, uh, basically at the command of your mobile carrier, Sprint, AT&T, etc. Uh, basically what they do, what it does is it'll, it collects uh, metrics including basically every key that you press, uh, every touch of the screen, every app you launch, every website you visit, every all the traffic sent in and out of your phone, uh, every time the battery changes, etc. Basically all the, every time the dialer is pressed. So basically anything that you do on your Android smartphone. Uh, the software, um, basically it's what Carrier IQ calls it is a mobile intelligence platform. That's what they refer to it as. They do have a website. I'll post a link to that in the description of the video as well. Uh, but anyways, they refer to it as a mobile intelligence platform that Carrier IQ works with the manufacturers such as Samsung and HTC to basically embed the agent inside of the smartphone. So they basically work together and put, put in this software agent to go inside of your smartphone to track all of your data. Uh, the issue, obviously, is there's a huge issue with the CIQ being a personal issue, privacy issue, just a very big issue um, that obviously needs to be addressed, and I would I hope it is addressed and more comes to light about this CIQ issue. Um, when, when it says embeds the software inside your phone, it does seem more like a spyware kind of thing to collect data off your phone, so it's definitely throwing up a red flag. To me, uh, and various people at the Android community. Um, basically, this, this software has a no opt-out option, if, whether you're on AT&T or Sprint, um, and you must be rooted to remove it. Uh, Verizon is actually the only carrier that offers an opt-out option to opt out of this version, so um, whether you're on Sprint or AT&T, you really don't have an opt-out option at the moment to not agree with this carrier IQ. Uh, but anyways, on Samsung, a uh, friend of mine, Conan, Conan, not, I said that in my last video, Conan, I, I apologize, uh, Conan. But anyways, uh, Conan, um, he is basically the one that found this out within Samsung devices and brought, the, brought this to light and actually uh, took it upon himself to remove the CIQ. So, um, when you, if you have a Samsung device, you can use Conan's No CIQ Mods uh, are the only method to remove CIQ from your Samsung devices. Uh, otherwise, if you do have an HTC device, uh, user Trev E, uh, he provides solutions for those devices as, as well. The reason I only bring up Samsung and, and uh, HTC and not Motorola or LG or any other various uh, manufacturers is just because these are the only two, Samsung and HTC are the only two that we, that basically have been found to be using Carrier IQ. So that's the main reason that, um, that we only, I, that I'm only mentioning Samsung and HTC. Uh, but anyways, um, uh, with Samsung, Conan, he uh, originally, I, I do want to give big, big shout out to Conan, big, big thanks for bringing this to light, and he actually, some a lot of this information, some of this information has been given to me by him. I did research on this and asked him various questions and got information from him as well, so big thanks to him. Definitely be sure to, if you run into him or see his name around, definitely be sure to give him a shout out. But anyways, uh, he originally discovered this on Froyo on the Samsung Epic 4G. Um, this is the, actually the, the device that I got originally, the first Android device that I have ever used, the Samsung Epic 4G. 
Uh, he originally uh, found, it, found it out. He was actually a former member of the Android Creative Syndicate team, a developer for us, and um, he released uh, ACS's Syndicate ROM Frozen, uh, basically the most popular ROM on the Epic, and it still is to this day one of the most popular ROMs and most used ROMs right now in the Samsung Epic 4G. But anyways, his uh, Syndicate ROM Frozen, basically, he removed Carrier IQ and it sparked a huge debate on basically how much should carriers be allowed to access your private information, should your phone company be allowed to do this, etc. There was a huge debate. Um, basically, it was a big ordeal, which I'm, I'm very glad it became that and hopefully it becomes even a bigger debate over this Carrier IQ. Other devices that um, basically have this carry IQ that are known, that we uh, know of and developers have found out, is obviously the Samsung Epic 4G. You got the Samsung Epic 4G Touch from Sprint. Uh, you other Samsung devices are also um, the uh, an AT&T, the Skyrocket, which is a Samsung Galaxy S2 device as well, just like the Epic 4G Touch. Uh, you also have the Samsung Moment and Samsung Infuse. Um, and on HTC devices, you have the Evo, Evo 3D. I'm not sure about the HTC uh, Evo Shift. I would think that would have it since it's so similar to the Evo. But I'm not, don't, don't hold me to that. But the only two HTC devices that we know of right now is the Evo and the Evo 3D, both on Sprint. But anyways, obviously the Skyrocket and the, I believe the Infuse are both for AT&T and the, the rest are for Sprint. So that's the reason I've been mentioning AT&T and Sprint the most is because those are the only two that we know of at the moment. Not sure about T-Mobile or any other carrier. Um, Verizon Wireless obviously has an opt-out option, but I, so I would assume they use it as well, which could be obviously an issue. So as you can see, it is a widespread issue, not just to one carrier Sprint to that I'm referring to, but also AT&T as well, I would, think Verizon phones may possibly T-Mobile. I'm honestly not sure because we haven't found it on those devices yet. I did list off the devices that we do know about, but they have not come to light yet. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to, you, you might be asking yourself, well, why is it, how is it that they can do this? Why are they allowed to do this? I'm actually going to sh post, show a video clip now, uh, actually posted on Carrier IQ's website. Uh, basically, their um, VP, mar uh, VP of Marketing at Carrier IQ, Andrew Coward. Um, he has a video of basically him talking about what Carrier IQ does. I'm going to post a short clip of it, basically saying how they feel that uh, it's allowed and why it can be implemented on these Android devices. So uh, here's the clip now. Of course. Gathering data and information like this from a device means getting the user's approval and agreement. Our clients, handset manufacturers and operators, seek the permission of their users before we gather data on their behalf. They gain this permission through service agreements and opt-in acceptance. So as you can see by that video, uh, obviously uh, Mr. Coward, he has pointed out that uh, carriers seek user's approval and agreement through opt-ins and uh, basically service agreements. So that is how the carriers feel they are allowed to do this. But as I said, there's really no opt-out option on Sprint or AT&T. So it's obviously something that needs to come to light and can be a very big issue. I don't recall agreeing to this being on my phone. Granted, they do with CIQ, basically the, what their goal is, is to basically track once a problem occurs on your cell phone, they can track what happens and why it's occurring so they can obviously um, when you call and say I have a problem with my phone it'll allow them to basically know what happened and help the user out with that problem. Granted it's a nice service I'm, I'm not going to deny that it, it could potentially be very nice but I still don't want any of that information logged. They do say it's encrypted uh, when the information sent out and uploaded the information is encrypted but Regardless, I, I just, I, I mean, it's, it's frustrating because there's really nothing we can do about it right now but uh, be, raise awareness for it. But as it, if you think about it, Carry IQ is going to drain your battery. It's going to slow your device down just because it's an extra little software that's in your phone working. So it's going to obviously decrease battery life as well as slow your phone down a little and decrease performance. So it's obviously 
something you don't want from a performance standpoint as well as a privacy standpoint. So it's just overall an issue that should and needs to be addressed by both the carriers and manufacturers of the cell phones. Uh, but anyways, I do want all of your opinion on this. Feel free to leave a comment on this video and let me know what you guys think if you have an opinion on this. Uh, otherwise, I will post a link to Carrier IQ's website, AC Syndicate's website. Uh, otherwise, definitely uh, be sure to subscribe to me. I will keep you guys updated with this Carrier IQ issue. As if anything else comes to light, I will be sure to inform you. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching.